Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Finn from SCB. I am joined here with the champ. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Umber. What's How are you up, doing? Brother? What's up, what's up, what's up? Hello everybody. Of course, you've just come off a big win. How are you feeling straight away after that? I'm feeling great. Of course, when you're in the ring, you're in the zone. You don't know what's going on. I don't remember the fight. Um, all I know is that at the end of the fight, my team picked me up. I had my hand up in the air and I said, thank you, man. Um, all praise to God. 100% man. So right, let's go right back to the start of this. Two weeks ago you found out this was going to happen. Did you think you were going to win back then or was like, what's this journey been like? Ever since I signed that contract, ever since I saw who my opponent was, I had no fear in my heart. I'm a warrior. I don't care if you had two months of training on me, one year of training on me. I've been through way worse. Like I said to the others, a year ago I thought I was going to die. I had a very bad car accident. My, my leg is like 50-50 yeah. and I got into that ring. And I showed the levels. One week of training, I done that. Talk to me about that. Hundred percent, man. And fair enough. So let's talk about that ring walk that you did. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with that idea? It was entertaining, to say the least. I'm a very random individual, and I'm sure everybody knows that from the press conference. Um, so I was in my room. I edited all of that myself. I planned it, choreographed it with my best friends, uh, my cousin, um, everybody. And um, yeah, they came through for me. So thank you to everybody, man. So you kind of covered it already, but Korn, of course he had a little bit more training than you a few weeks upon you. Was he better? Was he worse? He had nine weeks of training. I had two. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. But was he better than you thought he'd be? I thought he's a lot worse than I thought he'd be. Really? Did you think he had a chance then at all? Or? Yeah, I thought he, he was going to come out and try smoke me first round. Because he was planning on trying to KO me first round, he gassed out. And we saw that in that fight. He was uh, trying to duck like this, hands down. He was very open. Yeah. Whereas my team was shouting at me, telling me, keep that hand up. Yes, Poo! What's up, man? Get in the fucking interview, man. Get in the interview. Go on. Come in. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got Paul Bamba coming over. Paul, how are you feeling about Umbez win? He did great. I already knew. I was, uh, I was, I was rooting for him the whole time, not voting. But I, I told him to stay composed, do his thing. He has all the tools, and he proved that tonight. 100% man, it was to get a big... Paul's been one of the realest, one of the realest people oh, I've met. I met him when I snuck into the, um, to the event last time. <laughs> and he's been very kind to me ever since. He helped cut my Borat wig. Um, he's, a fucking, uh, he's a fucking G man, I really appreciate you, honestly. Of course man, Again, thank you man. Congratulations, you did really good. So are you going to be sticking around Misfits, going to be going back in the ring again? No, I'm never fighting again. I'm joking <laughs> Finn! <laughs> I'm here to stay! I'm here to stay bro, I'm here to stay! Okay. But yeah, man, uh, thank you so much for the interview. Of course, man. And um, yeah, I'm going to well, go Once again, big congrats. Thank go you, celebrate, man. go have fun. Thank you, brother. And I'll see you next time, man. Thank you, bro. There you go. See you in a bit. Thanks, everyone, for watching as well.